Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I have a little download for you today. This is a digital clock that is counting down, or if you reverse it, it can be counting up. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to set this up really quickly. It's a very easy espresso setup, and then I'm gonna give you one more resource to check out also. So let's jump into a new scene and throw in a mo text. The first thing we're gonna do is show you the way to do it with just straight up espresso without adding any user data. So we're gonna to go to Cinema 4D Tags and go down to Expresso. That's gonna put a little Expresso tag on our Motex and pop up a window. All right, so let's drag that Motex into our Expresso window. Go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And you can go to your search uh, magnifying glass right here and type in time. We're looking for the Expresso General Time node. We're gonna drag that out into here. And all we have to do is drag that little radio button, drag it onto that blue section, the input of the Motex and let go. And we wanna hook it up to the actual text, which is under object properties and text. And if we do that, you can see that our letters turn into number. And if we hit play, you can see that we have a nice little counter. So let's give ourselves some more frames here to play with. And you can see that we have a nice counter counting up. All right, so that's just a really quick way of setting it up. Let's get into something that's a little more detailed. So let's go ahead and add a MoGraph um, MoTeX and let's start from scratch. This time we're actually going to use user data. So we're gonna make a new null and we'll call this the controller controller and instead of right clicking and going to Expresso tag what we're gonna do is go down to the properties and we're gonna click on this user data tab and let's add user data so here are all of the options for user data so what we're gonna want to use is a integer slider if we use float it's gonna add a decimal point and a bunch of extra numbers if we use integer it's just going to use the solid number without any decimals so let's change this from float to integer and let's change our interface to a slider and if you want to know what this is gonna look like you can just click on example and that's what the slider is gonna look like when we're done with it so if you were gonna do a float for example, this is what it would look like, It'd be one of these, but we're gonna do a uh, integer and make sure you change that to integer slider. All right, so the step, the limit, we can leave all of these and play with them later if we need to, but let's just hit okay. So now we have a new tab on our null that says user data and we have a slider, but it's not hooked up to the Motex yet and we're gonna do that with Expresso, same way we did before, right click Cinema 4D Tags Expresso. We've got our little window here and our our little tag. So let's drag our controller in and let's drag our mo text in. Make those a little bit bigger. All right, so this time we have to specify what the output is. If we click on red, we can find our user data and our data all the way on the bottom. Let's click on that and then take that and pipe it into our input for the mo text. Go down to object properties and text. So now that slider is controlling the text. So you can see that we have a zero here. And now if we go to our controller user data, you can see that we have the ability to keyframe either counting down or counting up. So this is how I did it. Super easy, just hit a keyframe and kick it up a little bit and make another keyframe. And there you go. Now you got yourself a little counter. So for the counter that I included in the download, I simply made a new mo text and I just pop that over here. And there you go. Now you got yourself a nice little counter. So that is two simple ways. These are not very complicated, but it's a really fast way to do it in a pinch. If you want a much more detailed and accurate counter, I actually found this really great resource on Vimeo. I'll show you what it looks like right here. This guy made an expressive rig that's very, very detailed, and he has a scene file here, which you can download. I'll put a link below, but let me just show it to you really quick. It's pretty crazy. So here is um, the rig and how it looks. And then if you open up his Espresso, you can see what I mean. This is like way over my head and way too much math for me. But if you want to grab that download for anything, go ahead and do that. I'll put a link below. So that's a few different ways that you can make a digital timer counting up or down in Cinema 40. Hope that was helpful. And as always, thank you for checking out Pixlab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.